Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Out in the yard again today, I thought I'd come out because it's, uh, it's lovely weather and filming my lunch. The boys are kind of messing around, you might hear their little nails scratching on the floor. That's dogs by the way, they're not children just scratching at the floor for fun. Um, moving on swiftly, <laughs> um, what we're here today to look at is the Craftform Compact 25 pouch tool kind of thing uh, from Vera or you know as a German company I, I guess it should be pronounced Vera. Um, I have a few of these products and as far as EDC is concerned I think well you, you'll see in a minute they make amazing EDC pieces of equipment tools that sort of stuff the way in which they're engineered um, they're perfect for stowing in a bag. Now when I bought this, I originally bought this because I thought it's just something that I've seen a long, for a long time and thought I, I really want to test that out to see how it'll work, how I can integrate it into an EDC. And then I got it and it just made perfect sense. The, the way in which I'm going to use this, I, I know, I knew within seconds, I'm going to change some of the bits, of the components that you'll see in a second and this is definitely going in my rifle bag. Um, just because how easy it is to stow away and hey, I'll tell you what, why don't we stop me rumbling and instead let's let's have a look at this. So what I'll do is I'll change the camera around and we'll have a closer look at the Craftform Compact 25. Okay, now I don't, you don't usually go through any sort of boxing procedures, but I thought I'd just show you what you get in here. So packaging that you get from Vera is, Vera is always top quality. Uh, here is the actual screwdriver um, compact form thing uh, in a little pouch, but also inside here you get some information on how to use it in lots of different languages. Uh, a little bit of warranty information. What you also get is, just in case you want to keep this somewhere, maybe if you want it in a truck or something like that, you get a large um, Bit of velcro that you can stick to something and then last but not least you get a nice little sticker in the bottom as well so there's the box so here itself is the um the actual compact 25 sorry it's the compact it is a compact 25 sorry i just had to triple check that inside this you've got a really really nice well-built pouch here is the, the the hook to the hook no so here is the loop to the hook and loop if you wanted to attach that somewhere um, but instead if not there is a large two inch um, belt loop just in case you did want to keep this on a belt uh, and then on the inside here here is the actual tool itself now if i just grab my ruler so inches wise it comes in at roughly five and a half inches long uh, and then in new money, that's about 14 to 15 centimeters. So this is a screwdriver style tool. Ergonomics are really, really good with this. Um, the measurement that we just had there is the closed measurement because what this does is there are two buttons on here. The first one is here. If I slide that back, the end will come out and there is a secret one here at the end that actually says, I forgot that the whole best way up, if you can see that, it says press on it. So what we'll look at is this one first. So by sliding this back, there's two, the, uh, there's two settings, or at least there's two slides. There is a half one, which does that, which extends um, the screwdriver to it so that you, it makes it a little bit easier to use, or at least it makes it a little bit longer. Before, what was it? So, so now it goes up to nearly seven and a half inches or in new money in new money that is roughly 19 centimeters or 190 millimeters um, now the second function with this is is, is if, if you push it down so that you go past the second click you can then remove this so if there are other ones that you prefer to use in here or if you have lengthy ones then you can use those in here instead um, but as it comes with it you know it's really useful to have that now to push it in hopefully you'll notice that it just doesn't want to go in so what you have to do again is you have to push that back and then feel it click 
but for added safety and again you know those Germans they do think of everything hopefully you can see here it says not okay so you know that it's not in fully there's actually two clicks so the first one is this this holding which holds it when it goes all the way back and this is the one that pinches it when it gets to the front uh, so not enough you know that it's not in far enough if you've got only got it into that first click you need to pull that back a little bit further so that it goes in and you can see that it's okay this is a quarter of an inch, um, or at least it takes quarter of an inch bits. They all fit into that. They're all magnetically held in place. And then you also have this little um, lock feature that slides forwards and, backs that, and back that holds them into place. You have to push that forward, which again, you know, we'll, we'll have a look at that bit in a moment. Um, now this, that, that extension bit really is if, if you do want to, to have that extra length, um, it's great that you can use it at a shorter distance if you prefer to use it like that. Um, when you hold it in your hand, um, the ergonomics and the design that we at Vera have put into this is exceptional. Um, I also have, here we have the, uh, the Vera Tool Check Plus. And when you see the small screwdriver that they have here, it follows a similar pattern, which again, although this you can only fit two or three fingers round, with this you can get your whole hand in there and it just, it's like a really ergonomic knife that, that fits well into your hand, although obviously it's a, it's a, it's a screwdriver. Uh, so where were we? Right, okay, so we've we've talked about how that extends, but the last little bit really was this press button here at the end. So by pressing this, it shoots out again, and hopefully you'll be able to notice in here that we have six driver bits. Um, what you get as standard in the box, you'll see that there are three Phillips heads and there are three flat heads. So the Phillips heads that you get, you get a Phillips heads one, two and three and then as far as the flat heads you get a 0.6 by 4.5 you get a 1 by 5.5 and you get a 1.2 by 6.5 so there's a bit of options for you there depending on you know it's, it's kind of a I, don't, I suppose a jack of all trades but the beauty of it is that you know you might find that the, some of these that you don't use you can take them out and then put your own quarter head bits or quarter inch uh, bits in there that you tend to use the most. Now I mentioned at the beginning that this is magnet held in place so when this slides in hopefully you'll notice um, that it, it, it just magnetizes in there. Now you can't pull this out. Um, I mean I've not tried with a with a with a wrench or anything but by hand it, it really is difficult or impossible to pull that out and as what you need to do is click that forward and it releases that. So on the inside here you have the magnet, you're probably not going to be able to see this, uh, but there is a small metal o-ring clip at the bottom of there so that when it goes in, um, it clips onto and retains that and by pushing that forward it releases it from that clip um, just in case you know you're doing something that it's in at a distance there's nothing worse when it's in there and then you you, you bring your screwdriver out and it, it it's it's left the bit in there um, whereas with this you you never really get that because you you have to f push that forward to release it one of the things i forgot to mention is so this um the the bit that extends here, so this bit, the, the magnetized bit that holds this, that you have to push forward to release it. There is a, a, a free floating sleeve here around it, which again is very similar. In fact, it's identical to the one on the tool check plus here. This is the same, there is a free floating sleeve. So when, when you're holding something and you're wanting to make sure that your screw, that, so that the bit isn't doesn't slip when you're on there, then what you can do is you can hold that with your hand and push that against it, which is the main reason that you have to push that forward to release it, because when you're pushing like that, you, you're pushing this back, which is further engaging that mechanism to make sure that this isn't released. And it, it really is... Uh, awesome as far as being able to use the tool and be able to get that precision because you're pushing it whilst holding it and being able to hold that in place. Um, now as I mentioned, so let's just take that bit out. I, I'm, I'm actually going to be using this in my um, chest rig because it, f it, when I got it, I mean I bought it really on a bit of a whim, um, but I'd say probably 
the smaller of the Phillips heads and definitely the smaller of, sorry, the smaller of the Phillips heads and smaller of the flat heads. I'm probably not going to need to use either of those um, for any sort of tuning that I need to do with my rifle. However, having the tool check plus, what I find that I end up doing is keeping this in my chest rig whilst also having a few of these, especially this small, um, what's this one called? This is a, uh, a hop three. No, that doesn't make sense. But anyway, whatever whatever this one is specifically called, this is definitely going in there. And there's a couple of others that I might have to swap around. And I think that's the beauty of this. Because you can put your own ones in there, then you can perfectly customise it for the job that you have. You might have one for a rifle bag. You might have one if you're into photography that you take out and maybe having a photography bag. You might have one that has a little bit more of a spread between them. You might have a posi drive. You might have a Phillips head, maybe a flat head, maybe have a metric um, and um, an imperial, a couple of measurements in there so that you've got a few of these that do a different tasks um, on your person or in your truck or in a bag or it's, it's it really is a great little tool for that you know there are a few undeniable truths in life one of them is when it comes to precision engineering you really can't beat products that come from germany now i'm sure there might be a few people here that might say otherwise but Come on, let's try and name some things that you know come from Germany that aren't great products. Okay, actually, no, I take that back because some well, the uh, Mercedes Sprinter from 1970 whatever wasn't as good as the Ford equivalent. So let's ne not get too much into the into the reads with that one. But you know, in general, you, you've got to trust the Germans when it comes to this sort of stuff. And I think what Vera have been able to produce here. Is, it's just a great piece of kit. I can stow this in a bag. I can even carry this in my pocket. It's that small if I need to. Um, I'm going to be running this in my chest rig with my rifle so that if I need to do anything, being able to change um, some of the some of the, the actual uh, the, the screw bits on the inside of there, I'm going to do so that I can have specific ones that will help me to be able to change things on my rifle and be able to tune that. This is. A very good piece of kit um, and just on a whim picking this up because it had been in my uh, in my wanted list not wanted wish list for quite some time I'm really glad that I picked this up and um, yeah it's great now what I'll do is I'll leave some links in the description below they might be affiliate links if you choose to use those it's to no extra cost to you um, it's just a small kickback that I get to help to keep my channel funded um, and yeah these, these are great, definitely recommend it. Um, I'll leave some other links in there as well, so as far as my social media is concerned, you can follow me on Instagram, you know the usual deal where if you'd like to like, that would be great. Subscribing would be awesome and hit the bell notification. Don't forget to share this, but for now, stay safe, stay Molander, and stay EDC.